live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the first update of the new decade 2020 that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I will tell you the latest stuff. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. Okay, so let's get started. Um, please forgive me if I stutter or, you know, miss sentences or, you know, I just, you know, have a little brain fart or whatever. But, you know, I'll try to do the best I can to explain things to you and why I have been gone so long um, in two years. So, um, first is first. Um... The reason I have been gone for so long from YouTube and from Facebook, well, I have been, you know, posting on Facebook, uh, posting random statuses about that. But, you know, the reason why, you know, I am uh, doing this update because, you know, I had a lot of things planned for YouTube and uh, as well on Facebook. But, you know, I am still going to do graphic design and I'm still going to do uh, cartoons and also... Did I mention that I will have a comic book series coming up later this year? Um, it's going to be called Studio Harden. And if you haven't seen it on my um, Facebook page, then I will uh, post it on YouTube. And, you know, you'll get to see that as well. What it is it about is um, is me uh, as myself as a character doing graphic designs for customers. Instead of doing it on, on the computer... Um, I'll do it on, like, uh, do it physically, like, using tools such as a handsaw or a screwdriver. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, a handsaw, a screwdriver, uh, a chainsaw, and, uh, use a bunch of other tools to make the logos physically as well as flyer designs. Um, and, uh, you know, as I, it is displayed to you that I did a, uh, comic book strip of a customer and me doing a, um, uh, flyer for him and putting the logo up uh, the logo that was previously displayed on there that's the logo i did for that customer um and uh also what i have planned of is you know i will be doing i will i will be explaining guidelines to you guys um because the reason i am uh doing a huge video on the guidelines alone because you know I thought, you know, as a graphic designer, things will be easier since you're an independent business owner, working from home, working anywhere. Um, also, that reminds me that um, I'll be showing you workplaces that I work at. Well, I don't work really work at those places. I usually go to those places to do my work, to be at peace, you know, no disturbance, no distractions, whatever. Sometimes I go to restaurants, sometimes, you know, I go to the lake, I go to Tennessee River, I go to Dillandy, I go to Gunnersville Lake. Well, you never see me at Gunnersville Lake doing my work. I never went there except having fun. Um, I mostly go to Dillandy and do my work, and let me tell you, I... Oh, sorry, excuse me, forgive me of all the brain force and uh, sentence fragments or breaking up or whatever, but, you know, just bear with me, I'm doing the best I can, okay? Um, Dead Landing, um, you know, there's a lot of spots that you can do, you can sit at, you know, you can do your work at peace, I will show you those, I will make a video on that sometime later, uh, probably in spring or in late winter or whatever, or late February. Well, today is uh, February the 5th, 2020. Um, so, and as you notice right here, um, I'm in another car. The, uh, if you see the other previous videos that I did a few years back that I was in my old car, you see the interior is gray. And now the car that I'm in now is the interior is black. I have a new car now. I mean, I don't have the old car no more really. But, you know, I plan to get it back probably sooner than... You know, probably this year or next year or whatever. But, you know, things are still in process because, you know, I recently moved out, um, like two years ago. And, um, the reason I needed a break from, uh, doing videos for, like, two years is because I'm trying to soak up this knowledge. I'm trying, you know, um, trying to see what it's like living on your own and what it's like to be, uh, have your freedom. You know, I'm literally 27 years old now. Um, I literally turned, you know... 27 like two months ago my birthday is December 7th so um really I have like a whole future ahead of me I had a lot to learn but you know like once I move out you know it's a whole different ball game so I don't know what what it's like to live with your parents I don't know what it's like to live on your own still I mean like I can't take my rent but you know some place I recently heard that you know 
Huntsville rent is going up. Like, you know, that's really crazy around here because, you know, I never expect this because, you know, as soon as I move out, I mean, rent was really cheap. And then as the years go by, it got a little expensive, expensive for me. But, you know, I managed to pay that off and still, you know, keep living, you know. It's just like a little tough or hard that, you know, you have to pay bills by yourself with no help. Especially when you have no roommate, but, you know, I'm still getting there, you know. It's just like, you still have to, you know, make a plan and know when, what to spend, what not to spend. And know, don't spend too much money on this, spend, don't spend too much money on that. Because, what if you don't have enough money for your electric bill? What if you don't have enough money for your car payment? What if you don't have enough money for your court fees? What if you don't have enough money for, you know, anything like the cable bill, the phone bill? I mean... All the things that you need to survive, like your cell phone, your electricity. Well, you don't need your cable anyway. I mean, unless you got internet for cheap. Um, or unless you have mobile hotspot that comes with your phone and stuff. But, um, you know, you need food. You need water. Um, you need necessities. You need the utensil. You need toilet paper. You need soap. You need uh, dish attorney to wash your dishes. Um... You need a vacuum cleaner to, if you have carpet, or if you have a hardware floor at your apartment, you know, things will be easier. Like, you can easily sweep that stuff off the, you know, wooden floors and stuff. I mean, that's not a problem, but if you have all carpet in your apartment, then, I mean, yeah, you need a vacuum cleaner. Unless you can sweep where really good and sweep on the track, but, you know, you know, some of the dust gets stuck under the carpet real good, so you need a vacuum uh, to get that shit out, really. Um, so, uh... Yeah, so that's what um I it uh that's why I've been uh, taking a break for two years, guys. Because really, um, you really think that living on your own can be easy, but really it's not, guys. Um, and uh, the the life that I experience is, you know, all my uh, high school friends are having kids now. Well, except for me, I don't have a kid yet. I mean, I haven't found the right girl yet. But you know, when that time comes, I'm not gonna, it's gonna come. I mean, you know. I'm not rushing or anything, but anyways, um, you know, I've been trying to while talking to random girls here and there, but you know, it just haven't worked out for me. So, um, yeah, and then that reminds me, um, I'll be talking about dating websites, you know, talking about all the girl kinds of girls out there, what kind of scams they run, you know. I had that experience for two years. I mean, I never been in a scam, you know, you know, I will talk all about that, you know, about ladies using you and all that stuff, you know talk about fake profiles you know there are a lot of prostitutes on there there are a lot of camera girls that want your money i mean really like here's the thing that you know that dudes different from girls like you know all the dudes like on the internet wanted sex right and then all the girls on the internet want money so that's a, a 50 50 right there dudes equals sex girls equals money so yeah that goes both ways but you know some uh, dudes really, uh, really want, you know, money and stuff. They'll try to use you because, you know, they're bum-ass dudes out there. And, you know, there are bum-ass girls out there. But, you know, some girls want sex too. I mean, you guys don't mind. You know, sometimes uh, guys uh, don't uh, mind giving girls money. But, you know, when it gets to a, an extensive point like that, you know, you just know how to, you know, you know when you got stuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know... I will also talk about, you know, what uh, finance expenses that you need. Like, uh, like say, for instance, if you want to finance a car or you want to finance a house or you want to buy an apartment and stuff. Or you want to, uh, how to, you know, manage your money how, or how to manage your bills like that. Because, you know, even if you get in debt, you know, them debt collectors will not leave you alone. They'll, you know, call from different numbers and all that stuff. And, you know... Also, uh, about different numbers, that reminds me that, you know, there are a lot of scams out there that will spoof numbers that, you know, say for instance, the 256000 number, like the 256 number, the area code, even if it's in your area, they'll still spoof that, and they'll trick you to answering, and they'll say, um, it'll be about car warranty, they will be about health insurance, it'll be about student loans, I mean, they'll be about anything, so, you know, just be on the lookout for that, you know, that there's a lot of scams out there, there's a lot of people that will try to scam you, try to fool you, try to make some money off of you, I mean, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you gotta look out for, guys, um, and, uh, 
the other topics that I'll talk about. Um, it won't be about you know YouTube. It won't be about uh, problems with the internet, POF tagged or whatever. Um, sometimes I'll do daily vlogs. I'll do you know me driving around uh, around Huntsville, or I might take a road trip and I might take you guys with me. Um, you know, I've been taking a lot of road trips lately, so you know, when I might take you out, just take you guys out for a drive, and you know. It just, you know, just for instance, like, um, if I want to go to Chattanooga, I want to go to Knoxville, or I want to go to Birmingham, or I want to go to Panama City, or, you know, and, uh, you know, I'll just, uh, show you around, and, you know, I love mall, mall walking, you guys, um, like, uh, when I say mall walking is, uh, like, when you do a lot of mall walking, uh, you see a lot of stores, a lot of, uh, different things, you know, they have, uh, good things on sale, um, they got shoes, they got clothes, they got good flannel shirts, um, they got perfumes, they got candles, I mean, they got good food, I mean, the place, uh, the location I'm at right now, um, the Parkway place is right that way, I'm literally next to it, and, I'm literally sitting in the Walmart parking lot right now, and I just got out of that, and, you know, and I've done some shopping, you know, it's just, you know, I might even take you guys with me just, you know, to do a funny video in Walmart, you know, I might, you know, you know, just do funny stuff, I mean, I'm, of course, I'm not going to steal, I never, I never had the mentality to get steal, of course, you know, and, again, I'm sorry for, you know, stuttering again, but, you know, I never had the mentality to steal. I mean, even if I don't have no, uh, a cent in my name, I mean, I would never, ever steal. And, you know, you look me up, I never steal in my life, so, you know. And, uh, you know, that's a, that's okay. So, and, guys, um, if you are struggling, like, if you're living on your own, or if you have kids, like, you have, you know... And you don't have a father to help you out. You don't have a mother to help you out. Or you don't have a baby daddy or baby mama or whatever. Or a baby mama get on your name. Baby daddy giving you hell. And you know. And they ain't going to give you no money. And you've been doing a hard time. I mean. You're not alone guys. I mean. Everybody, everybody has different problems at different times. And you know. I just learned that once I move out. And I, I'm glad I got to experience it. I'm glad I got to take a break from you know. Doing videos. Because. If you see the previous videos, you know, I've been doing, I've been slurring, I've been I was talking really slow lately, because, you know, I don't even know what to say, because I haven't put my heart into these videos anymore, because, you know, I feel tired, I feel depressed, you know, I feel, you know, my mind's blurry, you know, but, you know, I am very confident that, you know, that I am going to be back on YouTube bigger and better than ever. Um, and by the way, guys, it's beginning of season nine now. Um, so uh, I don't know because you know, if I continue on season eight, obviously I think it's not going to make any sense since I stopped doing it for two years. Uh, took a break for two years, but you know, I'm back now and I'm trying, you know, trying to get everything rolling. Um, and uh, if you are um, watching this on Facebook, just know that, uh, it's going on YouTube and going on Facebook as well, um, and most of these videos that I'll be doing is mostly going to be on YouTube, I'm going to be putting the trailers on Instagram and on Facebook, um, so it'll navigate, gate, gate you guys, to, you know, to, uh, watch my videos on YouTube and stuff, Facebook and on YouTube, that the stuff that you won't see on there, as it will be seen on YouTube only. So, um, guys, if you uh, have a YouTube account or if you have even have a YouTube app, be sure to download that. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because, you know, I have a lot of stuff to talk about. I have a lot of excited things. I mean, you know, I have a lot of things planned. I mean, I even might even go hiking. I mean, I can go on the lake. I can go boating. Um, you know, and I had a lot of plant things that I plan for dead land so um and I had uh, uh found a little path that goes I don't know where it goes to but I'll show you that next time I go to dead landing once it gets a little bit warmer um you know today is like uh 60 something degrees outside and it's been raining all day guys um it's been storming uh just a few 30 minutes ago but it's finally I stop and uh as you're wondering why there are raindrops on my window, so, um, yeah, so, 
Yeah, things been crazy around here, guys. It's been raining. It's been raining a lot lately. I mean, I'm not serious. I mean, ever since we entered 2020, it's been raining a lot. It's been flooding a lot. And, you know, it's been storming a lot lately. And it's been getting warmer instead of getting cold in January. And now it's February. Um, So, and I read it in the article. It, we, we will have a nine-month summer. But I don't think it'll happen. It's not most likely not going to happen. I don't know. But, you know... I am not God, I don't know the future, I can't predict the future, but, you know, if it does, I mean, I don't know, I hope it does not happen, so, um, yeah, because it'll be really, will it really weird, um, of course, to, you know, have a nine-month summer when it really starts in May, and, and, you know, just to add that up, and it can go all the way to December when it's 90 degrees, I mean, it'll be crazy right there, it's just like, you know, it, it summer never ends, folks, you know, Sometimes it ends, sometimes it doesn't, so, um, yeah, and, you know, it's summertime in Australia right now, so, yeah, um, yeah, so, yeah, a lot of topics, a lot of new stuff coming up, um, so, uh, I will show you, uh, what my car looks like, I can't tell you yet, but, you know, yeah, this is my new car, guys, um, the gray interior is gone, um, it's a black interior now, and, you know, I'll show you all around, and I have big things planned coming up that I'm going to do to it. Um, so, yeah, guys. So, welcome to Jerome Hart Studios 2020 Season 9. And, you know, I'm glad that I'm back on YouTube. I'm back uh, doing videos now. And, you know, hopefully I will um, get you some topics. And, you know, and I will do hopefully do some collabs really soon. Okay? So, um, be sure to be on the lookout for that. Okay, so, again, my name is Jerome Harden, and, um, I will see you guys probably next week, um, so, have, I'm still doing the planning process, but, you know, I just want to do a video to let you know, guys know what's up, um, so, sorry I had to stutter, sorry I had a little brain fart, sorry I had a fog lately, but, you know, just getting the process going, so, um, until next time, guys. I'm Jerome Hart. I am the founder of graphic design of Jerome Hart Studios. Welcome to my, uh, welcome to season nine, and I'll talk to you guys. All right, peace out.